Welcome, my name is Tracy Cook and this is the podcast series Victim to Victory. This series gives a voice to those who have overcome challenges in all forms and dare greatly to share their real stories. Amazing humans that have seen hope and have risen above those adversities to become victorious that go on to support and inspire others to do the same. And today I'm giving a voice to Shauna Galligan. She is courageous, she is tenacious, she is fearless and she is purposeful and she's got a strong message to share with us today and a little bit of uh, background we connected through a mutual friend Babette who is absolutely beautiful so we'd like to thank Babette for that because she's a beautiful soul and she connects people to share messages of hope and I really want to welcome you Shauna and celebrate your journey your life and your message today so thank you very much for being part of the victim to victory series oh thanks for having me you're more than welcome. I'd love our audience to hear and get to know you because I did see your interview with Jessica Higdon and it was completely amazing. The, oh. the story that you've got to tell, the world needs to hear. And I know that somebody is going to connect with that and take inspiration from that and do something great as well. And let us start by saying, who is Shauna and where does your, where does your journey begin? Gosh, well, let's see. Uh, currently, I'm a stunt woman. And so how I got to that point is uh, that's kind of the meat of everything. And then it all ties together at the end, uh, which I'm experiencing now. <laughs> but I'll get to that. So uh, I was a competitive soccer player my entire life. And I was really hoping to be a professional soccer player. Well, I ended up getting a, a TBI, traumatic brain injury, which ended my soccer career and goals, no pun intended. And I, um, instead of taking the Western route, I ended up going to China and studying Qigong, which fully encapsulates the power of the mind to the full extent. And uh, learning learning other modalities of healing through the power that we hold within that we don't even know and tapping into that and coming back um, completely healed. But at that point, I was super, super excited about what I just experienced, which I called Harry Potter camp, because what I experienced in China, you would not experience anywhere else in this world unless <laughs> you were on a mission. Um, and so I decided to become a massage therapist, and then I decided to become an EMT. I wanted to work at uh, the San Diego Fire Department where I was living at the time, and, uh, and in the ER. And I realized the Western world, um, it just was a completely different beast. And I knew there was more out there for me. And... I just, I, I set a goal and an intention. I didn't know how I was going to get there. But next thing I knew, I was on set as a set medic for a TV show, and I had my soccer ball and my, my skateboard, and the producer at one point said, if you get hurt, who's going to take care of us? And <laughs> so they said I should become a stunt woman, and I didn't know what a stunt woman was. Uh, so they had to show me a demo reel of a stunt woman. She was running across a cliff, jumps off the cliff on a moving car, and immediately I knew that. That's what I was born to do. Everything that I got in trouble for as a kid, I get paid for now. And so the journey of getting into the film industry, I didn't know if I was going to make it in Hollywood. I mean, it's the one thing about making it in Hollywood is you cannot give up persistence is key and five years into my career I, I had a son and I, I decided to be a, a single mom and not only did I put everything to use uh, the power of the mind and it, and we can talk about this for hours and I'm trying to condense it a little bit uh, but not only did I go from TV show to TV show but after I had my son my career it blew up even more and I uh, 11 years later 
I'm uh, still, still doing stunts. I'm coordinating now. And uh, my son turned seven this month. And, and now what I feel uh, deep in my heart is that I want to share the tools of the power of the mind. And then obviously more stories that go along with that. Uh, and I absolutely love that, Shauna, because I've actually spent quite a lot of time in China. So I can completely relate in uh, Shenzhen and Gansau district. And I can completely relate to the different type of medicine and the different type of mindset as well. Um, just the philosophies behind living um, in China really stood out to me as well. So I really found a connection with you over that because I completely uh -huh. understand what you mean and, oh, and the way of life there. We spent a lot of time there and I like how you have uh, become full circle and apart from having the coolest job in the world as a, and you're a <laughs> Marvel, Marvel stunt woman as well, aren't you? I've worked on some Marvel, Marvel movies. Yeah. Which your son might think is like the coolest mum job ever. Uh, you know what, I would, I think, I wish he thought I was cool, but he, I think he's more afraid of me getting hurt, so he plays it off like, yeah, whatever, but he goes to school and he tells his, his friends that I, I'm fighting Thanos and all these bad guys, and then I'm a superhero, and they're like, yeah, okay, whatever, but <laughs> his teacher called once and said, is this true? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so, and what was your um, son's name? Tyson with a K. Oh, lovely. And he's absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> You're doing a great job, job, obviously, Shauna, because I see him absolutely thriving. And take us where you went from there. You're in, you're coordinating, you're, you've got the, the, the medicine, the power of the mind. Share with our audience, if you don't mind, more about the power of the mind, how it's helped you in your journey. So a lot of, so the power of the mind, it starts with intention. And when you set your intention, everything around you just circle, circles around what you're putting out. And so what I did with stunts is when I, know I was, when I knew I was gonna go down a flight of stairs for a stair fall, or if I was going to do something was, that was really going to hurt, like get hit by a car, get thrown out of a car, you name it, uh, I would visualize and set my intention. I'd visualize doing the stunt from takeoff to landing and, and, and visualizing the landing being soft. And 90% of the time when I would go into that full visualization intention mode, I'd, I'd stand up with very little bruises and cuts. Uh, and there's exercises to actually see how instant manifestation works through intention, which we can get to later. But going through 11 years of stunts and not breaking a bone, I have lifelong injuries, but that just comes with a job. But if I stand up and I'm just bruised and, and, and cut to a minimal, I feel like that's success. And, and intentionalizing every step of the way. And you can't necessarily control the outcome, but you can, you can raise the stakes of getting up without getting injured through intention. And so that power of the mind and having done it over and over and over again in stunts, uh, I, I've, another crazy story, uh, I want to, I ended up getting into motivational speaking and talking about the power of the mind. Uh, they're healing my, my brain with my mind, getting into massage therapy and that kind of healing and then getting into stunts and still using intention and the power of the mind to, or even to get a job. Yeah. You know, luck favors the prepared. So I train my butt off. I put the work in and I set my intentions. And when you visualize, and you realize you materialize and that's all done with intention and visualizations and then the doors start opening up and your job is to go through those doors that open up and take advantage of every moment because you created that you it came from inside but it also comes from that intention and then feeling it in your body and and every stunt 
you also have to feel in your body. And when you're learning something new, you have to mimic exactly what that person's doing, the actress. When you're watching the actress and how they're moving, you have to move the same as she, so nobody knows that it's a stunt double it's supposed to look like her. And that's intention and that's feeling and putting those together. I mean, you, can put that, you can put that any aspect of your life and, and have some phenomenal results. And I think that's a really powerful message as well, especially with the power of, power of the mind, because a lot of people that are just living the day to day and not thinking that they're worthy of any more, just by switching a couple of those intentions within your mind can draw out that strength. And if you put just a little bit of action behind it, it starts to materialize. So I absolutely like mm -hmm. the intention going all the way through to the materialization. And now more than ever with people and the change of the world, I think your voice and your message is going to be really necessary for the world that is to come because we're not going to go back to a lot of business as usual. And a lot of people will be changing their lives or repurposing or have re-strategized throughout their lives. So to use that, that method of the power of the mind is going to be an, an essential part of people's lives now to, to go on and do greater things. But mm -hmm. it all starts with a bit of action by behind it as well, right? Yeah, and not allowing yourself to limit yourself of what's possible. So creating those thoughts in your head that might not even be true of the outcome or thinking I'm not good enough or no one's going to think I'm look up to me for wh whatever you want to do. So the journey really starts within and being aware of your thoughts and thinking about not thinking, feeling what you want, put that fe those feelers out there. Everything's about feeling and, and letting those thoughts go. And when you start thinking thoughts that I'm not good enough or nobody likes me or I don't look that way or I don't have enough followers on social media, it's like those are already limiting because something can change overnight when you put all your, all your, your intentions lined up. It's just going to go. I mean, it's all about that energy and every thought is an energy ball too. So we can't, we're the only one holding us back. So the journey starts within and anything is possible when you can tap into your power and your energy and knowing that you have the power and believing it to be true too. And this is how you heal your body. This is how you soften the blows, so to speak, because take us how you combine that with the with the medicine uh, and the philosophy side of things how do they how do they connect together for you um uh medicine part what do you mean by medicine part the... uh, so with the with the with the chinese philosophy with the connection between the intention and the philosophy that you've learnt combined with the with the power of the mind uh, it, it take us through some maybe personal things that's happened to you or your body where some examples of what has happened using that method so when you're it's, so everything starts from it's a personal journey you can't grow your business without growing yourself and so in order to get in anywhere in life, you need to connect with within, within and go through all those dark corners and cobwebs and clean those out. But it also is environment too. If the environment is not in alignment with how you can vibrate at the highest level, you're not going to be supported to be able to go out in an energetic um, way of speaking. But uh, the Chinese philosophy is what's around you is what's going on on the inside too. So when it comes to stunts, if I felt like something was out of alignment, I would, it's another thing, meditation, meditation and just being in the stillness as well. That stillness and that, and that quiet time of being able to set those intentions and then things start coming to you. I mean, it's a very woo woo thing, but things keep happening. The attentions that I send in an instant manifestation. So when it comes to stunts and a job, and I say, okay, like for instance, the, 
end of last year, I, I said, I want to work up near a beach. I want to work somewhere tropical. I put that intention out there. I, I took advantage of some things that came my way. The doors open and I thought, you know what? I'm not going to be afraid. I'm going to go through them. And in December, I got a call to coordinate a movie in Puerto Rico. And it was everything that I visualized. And I couldn't, I wouldn't have been in that space if I didn't recognize where I was living at the time. It was very stressful at a farm and living on the farm was a dream. I've always, I'm, I grew up in LA, so a city girl, but I was a country girl at heart, but I was taking care of pigs. They got inj injured or my chickens or going to rescue a dog six hours away. It, it tears you in pieces. So you have to put those boundaries up and say, no, I, I have to focus on myself, I have to focus on my son, and then keep feeding what really your purpose is. Because what, what fulfills us, I think, is when we're attached to our purpose. And I think with this virus, people are so detached from their purpose right now because they can't go, 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 and we're kind of stagnant, so we have to get creative. And if we can't get creative, we don't have that creative space, we're kind of in a slump, and it's like, oh, the depression starts to set in. But then this is the time to just sit in silence and let go of those thoughts and see what happens. So that's basically what it comes down to, is watching your thoughts, the awareness, your consciousness, where, where, where are your thoughts most of the time? So, I mean, when in a nutshell, that's what it was in China, as you probably experienced as well. And it's a, it's it's an everyday practice and it doesn't get easier it gets more challenging because the better you get the more things that are thrown at you and it only makes you stronger so the best part about being down is the only place you can go is up and when you're down that's where the lessons are and when you look back you're like okay that's exactly what i needed <laughs> So even so. the darkest of times, people say, oh, why does this always happen to me? And uh, we, we need to take the lessons from that because the, the, the universe is showing us something that we need to learn or a lesson that we need to learn to dig deep and, and, and not listen yeah. to that inner critic to go on to be, be something else. It's just being aware of the signs, do you think, as well? Oh, absolutely. The signs, but being aware enough to recognize those signs that are, and watching the dialogue that you're, that you're saying to yourself every day. Why does it happen to me? That's the victim. Now you want to, you don't want to change that dialogue so you can turn it into something that's magical, that everything, one of my favorite quotes from Oprah is what's happening to us is happening for us. Oh, and I, yes. I love that because that, okay, this is happening to me. How can I make this situation better? Now we're learning at the same time and then you rise above and then it happens again. You realize, aha, I knew something else was going to happen, but I have the tools to overcome it now. And it starts within, it starts with your thoughts. Like Dr. Dwayne Dyer said, change your thoughts, change your life. Oh man, I'm the worst at quoting people. <laughs> change your thoughts, change your life. I think it is. But I mean, that, that's where it starts. And with your intentions too. So the change in the dialogue is, is, you know, and being aware of the dialogue you're, you're, you're saying too to yourself. 100%. And we've got a saying in our household and it's got, if the kids are kind of being a bit down or negative or being a bit gossipy or whatever, we, we always say in our house, you get to keep what you speak. So no, if, you're, like if you're, if you're speaking, you know, this language, the universe is going to give you more of that negative things. So exactly. you get to keep what you speak. So we actually find our grandchildren saying that now. So if there's negative talk in our house, they they look at me and I say, do you know what Nana's going to say? And they say, you get to keep what you speak, Nana. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. It's so true. <laughs> and, and where are you now? What are you doing now? What's Where's where's Shauna's journey now? Because you've, you've gone on a... a, a amazing personal journey and using the power of your mind to achieve so much and to you know obviously be purposeful where's your story now where's your journey now well i am circling back to where i began in china and 
creating, I, I creating a hopefully a platform for people to tap into to gain those tools and learn more and go through that journey on their on their own uh, by and through motivational speaking. Uh, I'm writing a book. Who knows when that's gonna come out with a six-year-old? <laughs> uh, I can barely get the dishes done, but it's it's an intention. It's gonna happen. Uh, I'm still doing stunts, so when it, the whole entire film industry is shut down right now, so as soon as that's back up and running, hopefully I'll get on a couple of shows or a movie this year before the year is over and and start working again. But uh, my intention is to travel around the world and speak and hopefully plant seeds and people to that changes the course of their life and hopefully it's that one thing they needed to hear that to to grow where they need to go got to keep going and keep when you keep going you keep growing and that's the whole purpose of being on this planet is to keep evolving and changing with the times and getting creative and being here in an unconditional loving space for others to keep going and growing too because that's what it all comes down to i think that is absolutely fantastic and i know that you would be very welcomed with that kind of attitude and message in australia so definitely make sure you look me up if you you get down under because i think I um australia is a still i'm not going to say a little bit behind <laughs> But we, we need this missing piece. We need people like you to come to Australia to share these messages. Um, a lot of people um, really need to hear this. And a lot of people are disconnected uh, with us being so vast. And I think if you ever come down under, you'd be very welcome, Shauna. I, I, I could see that definitely happening. So make sure you look me up when you do come to Australia as well. I'm saving your info. <laughs> <laughs> and what kind of message would you like to leave everybody that is listening to this today, that's drawn some inspiration, got some tools to set some intentions? Uh, obviously, we will post your links how people can connect with you. And if um, you wanted to share, of just a message to leave our audience with today that could propel them to start their journey or carry on with their journey? So there's a quote that I heard and I can't remember who said it, um, but it started my journey of keep pushing forward, keep going, keep growing. And it's, I'm going to try not to screw it up. <laughs> um, success isn't pursued. Success is attracted. So with that, it's, um, you can't grow your business without growing yourself, which again starts within, the journey starts within. So for anybody that's listening that wants to take that next step, but they're feeling stuck or they're feeling lost or depressed and they just can't shake it, look within, sit in silence and really dust off those cobwebs and figure out, oh my gosh, I haven't even touched upon that. There are all our wounds that we have from, from here in our past, we have, we have to heal those in order, in order to keep growing. A plant with a broken branch can't keep, keep growing until the branch starts growing itself and then it blooms. It's the same with people. And, I, and, and set intentions, find affirmations every single day that really speak to you. And, and when you, when you, in your, in your thought process that's holding you back, go back to those affirmations to keep your vibration higher. You wanna vibrate higher. When you can vibrate higher, so much more can start coming to you. And those are the things that are gonna attract what you want as a personal journey. And when you set your intentions and you have that right mindset for any part of your life, but it, you can't get something if you're not in alignment with it. So you have to go through the journey of being in alignment with what you want. So and, uh, like I said, it all starts within. It's, it's not an easy journey and, you know, hard beginnings make for good endings. So just, and it's, yeah. It is what it is. 
I love it because I'm such a believer in the law of attraction and the power of the mind and what you give out, you get back. I'm so um, pleased to speak with you today. I know people are going to draw a lot of inspiration to get started on their personal journey as well. It's not all (laughs) woo-woo. It is real uh, and manifesting is great, but add some actions to it as well. It's not just sitting in a room with candles and yarny and wishing things to happen. You still have to be in alignment with that, like Shorter has shared. So thank you very much for being brave to to share share your story. You're so appreciated. And you can find our podcast on YouTube and the Facebook group at Victim to Victory podcast series. And if you got value for today, please subscribe, like and comment. And I'd like to leave you with a message and thank Shauna very much for her time and her thoughts and watch this space because this lady, she is going to be everywhere. I know it. And I'd like to leave you with a message today of step into your power and let your voice roar. Thank you, Shauna. Thank you so much.